Hey guys, Wild Kyle here. I am with Paleo Chris and our buddy Derek today, and we traveled all the way up to Georgia to hunt a creek that we have never been to before. But due to the research we have done, we found out that there are Cretaceous exposures here, which are at least 65 million years old. That is the time of the dinosaurs. We have potential to find dinosaur fossils here today, but we also have the potential to find fossilized wood, fossilized shells, and some other cool stuff. So I think that we can do it today. We've done our research. We have a canoe. We can make some distance, and I think we're going to find some cool stuff today. So wish us luck guys we're gonna jump in the canoe and we're gonna go for a ride let's do it oh my goodness this is insane I don't even know how long we've been walking, but we've been walking a long way. And we got a long way when we start to go back, but it's all worth it for adventure, for exploration, for fossils, for Derek. We have been dragging this thing for so long and we haven't found what we need yet. What we need, Chris, we need it. We need the fossils. But we're gonna keep going until we find it. Oh, somehow. <laughs> This place is magical. It is awesome. And this stuff, this clay that I'm standing on, is Cretaceous in age, which means there were dinosaurs around the time this was being deposited, and that is insane. This right here is pretty cool, guys. I'm pretty sure I just found my first dinosaur-aged fossil that I've ever found. This is a piece of petrified wood that came straight out of this rock that Chris is busting at now. That is insane! Really cool stuff. Wow. So we found a pretty strange looking spot with some promising looking stuff. We found some confirmed fossil material. So I think we're gonna mess around here for a little bit and see what we can find. Check this out guys. So we're finding these rocks with fossil wood in them from the Cretaceous period. There were possible dinosaurs munching on the leaves from this tree right here. Look at this big chunk that I pulled out. It's got some like calcite or something in the middle of it as well too but that is wood from the cretaceous period that is absolutely insane and a bunch of other pieces over here as well check this out that came right out of the rock there this one came right out of the rock as well and this little knot also came out of there which is really cool too it's also got a little bit of the calcite or whatever that is in there as well really really cool stuff this is incredible we're finding a lot of the wood by taking the hammer and breaking these big clay ball rock things open. Here's one that we push open here and Chris is working on some wood right there. Derek's working on that tree right there. Seriously, there's a tree in that rock. <laughs> Wild. Look at this piece that Chris just knocked out of the rock. Really crazy calcite band in there and then wood. That is a really awesome piece, man. Nice. Crispy cracking that rock. Um, there we go. Nice, you Look got it. Chris got a really insane piece right here. Look at the calcite in there. Big, beautiful chunk of wood. That thing is so, so, so killer. I mean, that's a beautiful specimen right there. Look at that. Derek's working on him another piece. Oh, oh, there's pyrite in it? I wow. I think it's pyrite. That looks like pyrite, yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, look at that piece Derek just pulled out. Ooh. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on, Derek. You can do it. Yes, yes, yes. That's it right there. Oh. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that calcite. Oh my god. That's worth the entire trip right there. Yeah, look, at, look, look at the, look at the streams of iridescence. Oh, let me walk. Iron in that. <laughs> look at all the calcite in there still. <laughs> that calcite on that is piece that? is insane. Well, what is that? There's gold. Derek got gold. <laughs> oh, look at that. 
We are finding fossilized wood from the Cretaceous period. These are at least 65 million year old pieces of trees, and it's very possible that dinosaurs were actually eating the leaves off of the fossil trees we are finding, and that to me is absolutely insane. So we're really hoping on finding some dinosaur stuff today as well, but even if that doesn't happen, I'm gonna be very happy with what we found today because we found some really, really awesome stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, please give a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe as well. And let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this and more videos of us trying to go find the dinosaur stuff. That piece right there is absolutely insane. Check that out, guys. Look at the calcite on there. Wow. That is so killer. This piece right here is actually super cool. So this is all fossil wood right there and then right over here connected to it you got little fossil gastropods and stuff like that also from the Cretaceous that is really really cool I like that fossil a lot well now we're eating sandwiches trying to eat sandwiches and <laughs> Derek's weird trying to figure out how we're gonna get back help us help us help us This is how we're getting back. We're skiing back. Whee! <laughs> Are we destroying ourselves going back upstream to get back to the vehicle? Yes. But did we find amazing fossils? Yes. Yes, we did. So it was all worth it. All worth it. Hey, that's what that's what exploring and adventuring is all about. You're right. If it was okay. too easy, why would why would it not that's be? That's true. Easy? It wouldn't be as rewarding. No, exactly. Heck yeah. So a lot of story to tell with this. Absolutely. A lot of story, hopefully not including our demise. <laughs> All right, we figured out a game plan, guys. Oh my goodness. Right up there, believe it or not, is the road. We are going to start hauling stuff up to the road, and the place where we put in is about a mile that way. And it's going to be way easier to go up on the road other than going through all this stuff upstream. So, Chris and Derek are going to go get the vehicle. Leave me here, and hopefully the Sasquatch doesn't come get me. He's gonna get you, guy. He's gonna get me. Here we go. Carrying stuff up out of here. <laughs> wow. But this is gonna be worth it in the end, guys. So worth it. Well, guys. Well, I decided to go with Chris and Derek because I didn't want Sasquatch to get me. So, we're just gonna all walk back to the vehicle together and then come back and... We left a little marker for where our stuff is at, and then we're going to go get the canoe. This is going to be way easier in the long run. Trust me, I know this is weird, but it's going to work out. Not going to lie, this looks pretty weird. A few dudes walking down the middle of the highway, back up and stuff. We actually made it back. We actually made it. Oh, well, now, one more step. Go back and get the canoe, which is not going to be fun either. Are you ready? I cannot express how excited I am to be in this vehicle. Now we must go get the canoe and load it up and then we begin the long drive back to Florida. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for that drive, just to relax. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh my gosh, we made it back. We got a lot of the weight out, but this thing's still gonna be heavy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, now we gotta bring it all the way up there. Why? Why have we done this to ourselves? Because it was worth it. Because, because it was worth it. Oh, it was so cool. Yep, I'm happy. Well, thanks guys for, for watching all my videos and everything. And I really appreciate it a lot. It was, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Help us. <laughs> we made it with our stuff. Truck's right there. Oh my Gosh, whew, that was, yes, 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 yes. Now we get to go home. This is gonna be a long, weird drive home. And then, and then we'll lay out the pines so you can see them. First we need rest. So it's actually a few days later now, guys, and some of this wood is starting to dry out. We actually learned some stuff about this. This is actually lignitized wood. This is pretty much halfway in between being wood and turning into coal. 
And uh, we haven't really found much information on wh how the calcite ended up growing in there or if it's been found before, but it's a pretty cool aspect of what we found. Um, you can see that this stuff's actually starting to flake a little bit. It's actually still kind of soft, which is insane, being as it's like 65 million years old. Um, so I'm letting this stuff dry out completely and then I'm going to put some sort of sealant on it or wood hardener or something like that um, in order to keep it held together because these are really cool pieces and I don't want them to go to waste at all. That would be really, really upsetting. Um, if you recognize this piece from earlier, there was a piece over here and that actually broke off so I just have a single piece of that now or maybe it was this side. Um, but yeah, this stuff's pretty dang fragile but this whole mass is pretty solid for the most part so I think I will definitely be able to save that. Um, but yeah, absolutely had an awesome time looking for this stuff and finding it. Maybe we'll find some dinosaur stuff next time. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and we will see you in the next video. I appreciate you all very much.